What is up everyone, this is John with the App Studio team, bringing you another quick tutorial. Today we're going to talk about the brand new and improved Instagram feed. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is actually not click plus on Instagram yet. We're actually going to go ahead and go click on your name in the top right corner. And what that's going to do is it's going to bring you to your off keys section where you're going to now manage all of your Twitter and Instagram off keys. So we're going to go ahead and create new. And we're going to make sure that the box is on Instagram and not Twitter. I'm uh, going to name this Tutorial Instagram. And then I'm going to go ahead and click here to create and maintain your Instagram clients. I'll right click, open a new tab. And then you'll see here I don't have any clients currently. So I'm going to go ahead and click register a new client. I'm going to name it Tutorial Video. And I will give it the same description. Now for you guys, uh, your name and description can be whatever you want, how it applies to your app. Um, and, and then the really important part of this whole thing is your, your website URL and the OAuth redirect URL. Now if you have a website of your own, I would suggest that you use that URL. But if you don't, uh, you can go ahead and use the App Studio URL, which is http appstudio.windows.com. And you'll use that for the website and the OAuth redirect as well. Uh, and then at the bottom here, they're going to make you do a CAPTCHA. What the hell's that second word say? Let's see if I get this. Best guess. Ha <laughs> ha, worked. Okay, so now we have a client ID, which is the main part of what we're going to need. So we're going to go ahead and copy that. We're going to go back to our off key section in App Studio paste it in our client ID, and hit validate. And then there it is, tutorial Instagram, tutorial demo. This one I created 12 minutes ago, and this one I created one minute ago. So that's my new one. So now what we're going to do is we're going to navigate back to App Studio. We are going to add an Instagram section. And I'm going to choose what I just created, which was tutorial Instagram. And then I'll just leave my section name. I'll, I'll change it to pictures. Okay, now from here, we have two different options for how we're going to interact with Instagram. The easiest one is tag, right? It's just a hashtag search. So for instance, Windows Phone. If I go ahead and hit confirm there, you're gonna see that all of the windows, every picture tagged with Windows Phone is gonna populate, and it'll actually be dynamic. So as new pictures are added every day, every minute, you'll see this thing change as you refresh the app. Now, the more difficult way to, or I should say, I shouldn't say difficult, but the more complicated way uh, to interact with, with Instagram is definitely user. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and click edit, and I'm gonna go over to my data, and then you'll see here I can change how I wanna display the info. So I'm gonna choose a user ID. Okay, so now to find an Instagram user ID, you have to use the API. Uh, luckily, there's some tools out there that help us uh, look up IDs, okay? so. Uh, if I want to look up the Microsoft account, I just go ahead and type in their name, all lowercase, Microsoft, I hit go. And then it gives me a user ID of all numbers here. And so I'm going to go ahead and copy that. When And if it's your account, you can type in your name, hit go, and it'll give you your user ID. If it's a friend's, same thing. No matter who you do, all lowercase, uh, you're going to go ahead and get a user ID for it. So we'll go back to, Inst uh, to App Studio, to our Instagram section. We'll paste in the user ID. And then you'll see what just happened was it all changed. Uh, it now pulled in the Microsoft account. We'll go ahead and hit save. We'll go back to our content page. And then we'll see here that all of Microsoft's Instagram pictures are displayed. Now, if we want to change up how that looks a little bit, we can click edit. And you'll see the layouts right here. So my favorite is the mosaic. It kind of gives some big, some small. As you tap on them, they'll all expand and show the original image. Um, but you know, there's a, it all depends on taste. If you like the image is really big with a bit of description, you can choose one of these. But I kind of like the mosaic, so I'll go with that and I'll hit save. All right, and so that is how you interact with the Instagram section, whether tag based, user based, uh, went through how to create your key. And if you have any questions, uh, there'll be a link in the description on how you can reach our support forum and ask any questions you want. And as always, uh, like and uh, 
and subscribe. Thanks.